Hey you guys, this is Crow here from Crow Archery Motorcycle Adventures and I'm very excited to show you a little something that I just got in the mail. Now this is a 17 inch Morrison Phoenix ILF riser, um, which right now as any of you guys know, these risers are extremely hard to get, um, mainly because the guys over at Morrison have been having a lot of problems with their former machinists and now they're working with a new supposedly this is what they themselves have told me they are working with a new uh, shop to go ahead and start getting these back up and going um, I think on their website right now you can buy their 15 inches or you know 15 inch risers they're in stock and everything I actually got this one from a new friend actually that's uh, how I be we became actually really cool was uh he was, sell, he was looking to sell this. I was looking for one, made the trade of, you know, well, I bought it from him. But the point is that it ended up being right where I wanted it to be. And everything looks really, really good on it. I just got this Push AccuTune that I ordered from the Push Archery. Um, I haven't fully set it up yet. I literally just threw it on, you know, figured out how to work it to where, you know, it can adjust the center shot and everything. So I'm about to have to run up to Walmart and get some, get some more Velcro. And then, uh, I'm thinking about throwing a set of limbs on it just to try it out. But I have went ahead and laid down a deposit and set an order in for a set of Morrison max six limbs to pair with this. Um, the ones I order are the longs and <clears throat> the, I think it was like the 55 pound range because, you know, that's what I'm used to shooting. So I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get what I know, what I'm used to and get this really dialed in and set up. And then uh, from what I understand, when you order a set of, well, a custom order set from Morrison, uh, they told me it takes about two months. So that's perfect for me. That means they should be here around the end of July and, you know, that gives me plenty of time right before fall turkey season and whenever it comes in here in Kentucky. So I'm definitely going to uh, – I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, that's exactly what I plan on doing with this bow is literally hunting it to death. Um, I will say – let's talk a little bit more about this riser. So on the pictures that you see on the internet, um, they actually look a lot bigger than what it is. Um, I'm not talking about necessarily the length per se. I'm just talking about the heft, you know, cause I, I kid you not. I, I don't really know how, you know, your perception will be based on the video, but I will say that it is a lot smaller than what I expected. It's also a lot lighter than what I expected. So realistically, I'm probably going to end up putting some form of bare bow weight on this because um, I'm thinking by the time I get my quiver on and all that ready to go, I was looking at Yoast, those uh, little Yoast mojos or whatever that allow you to kind of offset the weight because whenever I, you know, all of my recurves, you know, I have quivers on and, you know, I always can't a little bit like this because of that weight. Well, what I'm thinking about is trying out that Yoast Mojo where it allows you to offset the weight to see if I can bring it a little bit more vertical. Uh, and from what I understand, the super recurve limbs, uh, even though they're going to be a set of longs, from what I've been told, the guys on you know Trad Talk and the other boards and stuff like that have all said the same thing, that the bow is going to end up being a lot shorter than what I'm used to by several inches. You know, I normally run 62 inch recurves. And so I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this setup is going to run out of a ground blind. So, uh, you know, I remember when I was hunting out of a ground blind, I had a Ben Pearson Cougar. And it was a 62-inch recurve, and I actually had to uh, open up the window, and I had to cant the bow and stick the one of the limbs out the window in order for me to even get a you know get a shot. And that nope nope that was horrible. So I switched to I ditched the ground blind and I just threw my ghillie suit on and started hunting from the ground from there. 
but uh, I, I am very interested to give that a shot again. So uh, overall on this Morrison, I will say I, I'm absolutely in love with it. I mean, it, it feels good in my hand. It's kind of light, but like I said, that's easily, you know, dealt with with adding a weight or whatever. Uh, I've never used a push Accutune, so I'm really excited to try that out and see how that's gonna work. From what I understand, it makes tuning a breeze. Uh, and to be honest, that I'm really looking forward to that as well. Uh, but I will say, as now I bought this second hand, uh, so there's, <clears throat> honestly, it looks really good. It looks, close to perfect. I mean, there's like a little place right here where the paint has kind of started to wear off, but whatever, who cares? It's going to do the same thing when I'm out in the woods with it, you know, over the course of the years, but it feels really sturdy. It looks really, really well made. Um, and this is a 17 with, you know, some ATA holes in it. I'm not used to that because I've got my Satori, which is also a 17 inch riser but it does not have the ATA holes on it uh, like my 19 did. And to be honest, that's fine. I don't ever use them. Um, I just shoot straight off the shelf. I don't use a sight or anything of the sort. And all my quivers just mount directly to the limbs. Uh, so I'm really, I'm really excited to see how, you know, everything is going to play out. But once I get the, the Max 6 limbs in, I'll make sure to get this thing fully together, get it tuned up, and do a full-fledged review on an entire Morrison ILF rig. But I did just want to go ahead and kind of show this off a little bit. You know, it's they've got it written Morrison down here, and then, you know, the serial number up top. I, I mean, everything about this just screams quality. Uh, and, you know, supposedly the grips are interchangeable. You can buy other Jaeger grips from Morrison directly. Uh, all those guys over there, everyone I've talked to have been really cool, uh, really nice. So I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited to get this thing built and tuned up and ready to go this year. So, And this is going to be my first experience with Super Recurves. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, um, Leave them in the description box below or in the comment section below, should I say. If you got any tips on using this AccuTune, let me know. Um, if any of you guys own a Morrison or have shot a Morrison, tell me what you think about them. If you've shot or own a set of Max 6 limbs, tell me what you think. Maybe some little tips and tricks that I can you know, throw under my belt and use to get a really, really nice tune on this bow because, like I said, this and my Satori are going to be my main my main two hunting rigs that I basically can grab off the wall anytime and go and be ready to, you know, ready to rock and roll with it. So thank you again for all the support. I love you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.